Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. As you can see, my eyes are averted because we have with us in studio this morning none other than, from what I am seeing here, the original bubbling star, Chef Jason Peru. How Good are you doing? morning. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me on the show on this holy week. It's you guys have been representing pleasure, extremely it's well. Pleasure. And we're so excited because, listen, while we were doing some interviews a little bit earlier, the, 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 the fragrance of this food starts coming out. And I looked at Rockus and I was like, what, what's going on? Well, you know, the last time I was here, Rockus was not here and somebody got his portion. And it, I, don't want to, I don't want to say, but we, we were also praising. We was like, wow, we have extra portion. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, what are you cooking up for us? So we're going to be today. doing a coconut curry marlin today. Mm -hmm. So what I have on the stove right now is just minced garlic, ginger, a little bit of pimento being sorted. You know the aromatics to get yes. that nice flavor going. I just added some uh, curry powder inside there as well now. Turmeric. Turmeric is what we know locally here as uh, saffron. Proper turmeric. It's actually okay. a root that right. is grated. Sometimes people refer to it as hardy. Mm -hmm. That's what they would rub down brides with and so forth oh, like that, right? Interesting. So again, curry and turmeric inside there. Right. Main ingredients for making a curry. Then we start to go in with some jeera or the international audience will know it as cumin. <laughs> it also has some garam masala inside there. Ooh. So a little bit of heat. So four predominant spices what I use. Jeera, masala, turmeric and your quintessential curry powder. Oh my goodness. And what you can see is going on here. As you can get that nice smell, you're toasting the curry. Nice. So you're bringing out all the flavors. You cannot have gritty raw curry, it's going to hurt your stomach. Nice. That's not good, especially as we're approaching a good Friday. That's going to be a bad Friday. Okay? <laughs> you all know what I mean, right, guys? That's rock no. kind of human. <laughs> 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 we have to mention our listeners as well, the listening public on Talk City 91.1 FM. Good morning. Now, unfortunately, you won't get to see us enjoy this, but oh, you'll be able to hear the delight in what looks to be one of it the smells best. smells good already, right? Yeah. Um, we're really going to go with some uh, fresh celery inside there. And at this point in time, we're just going to add a touch of water. Mm -hmm. Good That's noise, right? Nice. And I hope everybody tries this, uh, especially tomorrow. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is a fish day, as you all know. Yes. Today is Holy Tuesday as we approach Good Friday. Now, it's Chef, I have one question. So we are doing marlin today, but can you substitute any fish? Like, can you use salmon or could you use kingfish or anything? Kingfish is brilliant inside there. You can use salmon. Salmon, nice. I'm a big believer. That grouper is great. Yes. Yeah. Marlin oh, today. Nice. Pretty much use whatever you have. I've done this with carrots already, and it's brilliant. So I know fish is very pricey around this yes, time. So is. be very careful of how you spend it. You can try shrimp. Oh, yeah. Shrimp is good also. Good. Right? So I've cooked my a little bit of my uh, curry there and some water. I'm going to be adding coconut milk inside there. Mm. How much coconut milk? A cup, half cup? I would say about a cup and a quarter for okay. this amount. I'm doing three fillets. Nice. One for um, each. In the, well, Rockers, I don't know why. <laughs> Rockers, look at that menu. So two. I don't know if that means peace. Or peace. <laughs> I think the first one says Rockers, the second says Kimberly, <laughs> and the third, which just might be the biggest, says Natasha. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, guys, as you would see what I did, I just added my coconut milk there. I cooked my curry in a little bit of the water yes. just to pretty much break it down and dilute the curry. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk goes in, and this is what the base of the sauce is all about. Mm -hmm. Now, let me talk about the fish. We have the marlin here at this point in time. I just want to lift it up for everyone to see. And this marlin is actually fried already. Okay. So when you're cooking, like pretty much curry fish or stew fish, you tend to fry the fish first to develop a beautiful crust on the exterior. Nice. So it's cooked already pretty much. So we just insert it in the sauce in the last minute. So you get a nice texture on the outside. Mm. Rokas is like, yeah. <laughs> bring, it, bring, it. <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring it, bring <laughs> it. Right, so we have our coconut curry going on here at this point in time. So what I want to do is basically add some salt at this time. Now, how long do we leave that actually like boiling for, at least, you know, steaming for? Well, as soon as this sauce comes together and it starts to bubble, pretty much it's ready. Right. We just put the fish in and you go for about two to three minutes. It's just you don't want to cook the, the fish to oblivion. <laughs> you don't want it to mash up in the pot. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't want to, you don't want to crucify it. No, right? no, no. Wow. Wow. We don't, don't want to cremate it. We don't wow. want to overcry it. I love the reference to the chef. Very nice. Wow. <laughs> Listen, if it's one thing, he's a chef and also he's a master with the way. Black pepper and salt went inside there, guys. And at this point in time, I just my sauce is starting to bubble. So I'm creating a great sauce. The idea is all about the sauce at this point in time because the fish is pretty much cooked. Okay? So as mentioned, guys... I mean, you all are following this, you all are smelling it. You mm -hmm. all could get the recipe and stuff. It's in my new book, cookbook. It's called The Impregnation of Flavor. It's available worldwide at my website, www.chefjasonperu.com, or at the Candice Mohan Salon at number 7018980. Right? It's bubbling. It's, bub oh! it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Bubbling. So we take it off, you see? I just take off. So at this point in time, it's bubbling nicely. What I do is then 
place my fish inside now ah. and I put it back on and what we're going to do is allow it to what you would say in Trinidad to do to kus <laughs> That's what that's moment. Because <laughs> <laughs> get excited you know, when you hear that. So it's you're starting to let it bubble and just come together. Oh, now nice. I always say, let's put some vegetation inside there. So mm -hmm. at the last minute, Rockers, what I'm gonna be putting in is just some pak choy inside there. Okay. You can use bodhi inside there also. Try to bring in a little bit of the vegetables. It's very important. Now, Chef, as you mentioned pak choy for the diaspora who might be watching, if we don't have pak choy to put where they are, what they can use to substitute? Well, the, the cousin, bok choy. Bok choy. Bok choy is great. Mm -hmm. Maybe spinach is awesome. Great. Is, is inside there also. So, get creative, guys. Whatever greens. Even if you're in New York and even in certain southern parts of the states, uh, kale is great also nice. inside there. All right? Chef Jason, I do have a question for you. Talk to me. I noticed that you used, um, was that pink Himalayan salt? Yes, is I believe. I believe in using pink Himalayan mm -hmm. salt mainly because it has more than two or three trace minerals. Okay. It's it's not iodized, and at this point, it's, it's extremely healthy for someone who is trying to cut back mm -hmm. on um, salt consumption. Okay. So pink Himalayan salt is the way that I like to, to now, do pretty now much. Chef, we actually had a health expert in in, um, in studio once, and she said salt is salt. Huh? She said salt, salt is, is salt. I understand salt is salt, but at the end of the day, salt does bring all these savory flavors pretty much in everything that we cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a necessity, and if we deprive ourselves of salt, we actually lose our balance. We don't feel for water. Mm -hmm. So salt is imperative. Exactly. So, so, so chef, writer, and doctor. Got it, got a chef for you. You know, you've got to study nutrition, <laughs> as, especially when you see you're a chef. Yeah, so you need course. to understand the, quint <laughs> the, the whole quintessential aspect of how ingredients come together. Of so you smell in this? Kind? Yes, I am, and I'm very excited. I have, to, I have to admit, I mean, viewers, you can see it bubbling. You can just see the... the I think it's a rich... The colour is rich, I have to see. I but mean, you get a nice coconut profile, yes, right, guys? Yes, I'm getting a coconut profile. No, mm -hmm. I know probably you will have, like, stew fish. It's, it's a... It's a a norm. Yes, I'm, it is. I'm, I'm imploring everybody to try this. Mm -hmm. This is great tomorrow. Try it with seafood. Um, but you don't need to just to do your quintessential stew. Yeah. Let's try a curry. So I'm going to be adding some tomatoes inside here. Now, Chef, we are talking about a coconut curry uh, fish. But of course, it is the Easter uh, weekend. What other recipes we can try in the kitchen this weekend? I would definitely say something... <laughs> a long seafood line. Of course. Very important. So I also like to use like a bonito fish mm -hmm. and cook it on and strip it and make a beautiful shepherd pie. Ooh. But I'll use the minced fish inside there. Yes. It's great. So you mash your potatoes, put the fish inside like a layer and put a nice cheese sauce on that. It works brilliantly inside there. Tomorrow I'm having breakfast with my family and we're doing tuna and fry bakes. Tuna. See? Yummy. So all the staples have your custom here in Trinidad and yes. Tobago. It works well. So guys, as you can see, this is looking pretty good at this it point is. in time. What I have here is just some simple rice. So what I'm going to start to do now is take out the fish and I'm going to start to plate it up. Make it look good for you guys. Now, Chef, you have rice. If, if it's that we want to do a little boiled cassava, a little boiled ground provisions, we could cook some provisions with this as well? Yeah, you yeah. could use um, no bit of cassava, though. No. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chef. To my good friend outside there. Of a good, A good cassava is good. Uh, sweet potato, edos, yam, all of these work with Tanya is ex exceptional nice. also inside there. Right? Oh, so wow. I'll implore people to definitely use what they have, you know, in their household and don't try to expend you know, cause any expense. So at this point in time, guys, what we want to do, as you can see, the fish is looking brilliant. Mm. I'm just going to start to garnish mm. it up nicely mm. like that. Make it look good. And it's very important that our food looks radiant, visually arresting. You all with me on oh, that, yes. right? Of oh, course. Yes. Very important. Again, guys, this recipe is in my new cookbook, The Impregnation of Flavor, will, available worldwide, www.chefjasonperu.com. You know, one of the things that's beautiful about this dish as well is that it's colorful, which means that for children as well, they'll be more enticed to eat. Yeah, because you've got to cook with color for kids. Yeah. Yes, you you also have the vegetables. So once it looks pretty, I had to be creative. <laughs> there you go, madam. Thank you. Here you are on this end. Thank Francis you. Rockers as well course. as the fork. And let's have a quick okay, taste. Go, let's go, guys. Yes. Tell me what you guys think. A nice light coconut curry. Ooh, I know it's a bit is... early. Oh, wow. But it's all well and fine. Look how beautiful it is. It is. Enjoy, guys. Right. Thanks, Chef. Let's see. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. nice. okay. She can't even say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if, you guys want, <laughs> if you guys want more salt on it, Himalayan salt, I always Actually, use less. Chef, what I can do with it is some more sauce. So, oh that yeah. sauce is lovely. So in, in Trinidad, we refer to this as surwa, mm. a nice thick sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. Look how good. beautiful that is. That Camera is guy, nice. are you getting this? Look how great this looks. Watch. Oh, yes. Ah, that's that what the food is about. You want some more? <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's all about the sauce, guys. That's what we took the it pride is. inside there. 
It really is. Mm -hmm. And as you said, you said it was light, and it really is. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, perfect. yeah, it's not that what you call the chatter heavy yeah. masala related curry. I have a question. Yes, sure. In terms of the see, preparing the, the fish before you fry it. Yes. Did you season the fish? I'm not kind of thing. So when I just or? did black pepper, salt, some just green seasoning. Mm -hmm. So I did pretty much whatever you're passionate about, and I dusted it in flour. And I just fried it for about maybe two minutes. Mm -hmm. Again, it's partially cooking in the in the sauce again. Right. So I don't want to cook it to oblivion. So mm -hmm. I would probably cook it to 85%, and then the next 15% it cooks in the sauce and loves up the sauce. Wow. Okay, chef. So I have another question for you. You come here, and you prepare this amazing food for us. Do you enjoy eating the food that you cook? I get. If I cook this all day, I would not feel to eat it. To be <laughs> honest with you, because mm. it's like a uh, you know. I'm, it's there. I and I would leave some of the greatest food and sometimes I'll just, on the way home, I'll just buy doubles. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. I like to eat others, other people's food, yes. to be honest with you. It's all, you know, that's what it is about. You mentioned much. doubles. Do you have a doubles recipe? There's a doubles recipe in the book oh. also. So I teach you how to make the bar inside here. And the book actually is extremely laden with Caribbean-based recipes. Oh my goodness. With great <gasps> so you get good. Every recipe has... A, Look at that. a photograph inside there. So you have oil dung, you have cuckoo, you have callaloo. Then you start to get into the international section now mm -hmm. where you get all the great uh, braises and stews. You have, look at this, the, the citrus lobster palak curry. Mm. Yummy. Right? Then you have the, the, the chicken, the, the fish-based dishes. You have the sawfish. You have, look at this, steak dinners also mm. inside oh there. Goodness. Then you have your desserts, your snacks. Mm -hmm. And all photography was done local here in Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, you have desserts, snacks, entrees, everything of that. Now, oh, here's chef, the doubles. I am a pescatarian, and I know we also have some vegetarian viewers looking. Are there vegetarian and pescatarian dishes in there? There are. Okay, inside cool. there. Nice. There are also gluten free inside there, healthy lifestyle. So there's something for everyone inside here. And I must say before I depart, that's how it is now termed as the number <laughs> one premium cookbook in the Caribbean right mm -hmm. now. Well done. We have exceeding sales continue to go in its 14 months of being out. Wow. wow. We're doing well and we worldwide. Now chef, one of the things people who taste our food they usually say is that it's very spicy or very very flavorful. You had an international visitor recently. What was his thoughts on the food? Oh, he loved it. He loved it. He he went ballistic. Mm -hmm. Especially <laughs> after you say guys, you have so eclectic creeds and races here that is not just like Trini, it's just like see, I've been to Africa, it's just like African based or I've been to India, it's just Indian spices, curry all over. Yes. He said, but we have Portuguese, we have the Syrian, the Chinese, the African, the Indians inside I it. It's an mix. amalgamation. Mm -hmm. And he said that that's what makes the food so unique and distinct and he loves it and those videos are going to be coming out ex very very soon and i know Trin and Tobago will be showcased positively of course. yes definitely so listen chef you caught me doing a happy dance that's my happy food dance because it's delicious raucous hi how are yes. you feeling i'm you a little bit busy it? I'm a I, little can see I, can't, I can't really talk about it right now because the flavor has been impregnated there into the fish <laughs> and therefore it's now in my mouth that's the, that's the name of the book it's the impregnation the of flavor <laughs> The name, the, book, the, name the, book the name of the book is called flavor. The Impregnation of Flavor, mm -hmm. and that is where all the flavor resides at the bottom of the pot, and you bring it up. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, the DNA of what we cook. Ah, you see what I mean? DNA. But I would, I would say, though, that the, the, um, for me, I, I don't know how often I have uh, curry with coconut milk. Yes. And it is quite enjoyable. Well, look if at I that. do say so myself, because from his from his scent and all, from just from the beginning of it when we were smelling it, I mean, smell how it evolved over yeah. the past couple of minutes, and it's just simple minutes, right? Yes. But most generally, definitely. how long does it take to prepare a meal like this? Well, based upon the amount, it's just three portions we did today. I was able to do it in probably five to seven minutes. Right. What I did do during the break was actually sweat the aromatics, that is the ginger, the mm -hmm. pimentos, and the garlic, and you let that go for a period of maybe four or five minutes. That's what you call sauteing the mm -hmm. onions and the garlic, pretty okay. much. And you got, once you get that going on, that's your base for your sauce. That is going to add a lot of flavor to the dish. But after that, as the cooking of the spices goes pretty well. Now, if you're making this for a family, it could probably take maybe like about 25 minutes okay. for the whole dish to feed probably five, six, seven. And then cooking the rice here. That's all the rice thing. I did ahead of time. And of right. course, I couldn't just bring the fish just so this time. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, we are coming to a close. But two things. First of all, Trinidad and Tobago and Diaspora. You see this book here? This cookbook is a fantastic gift because you're giving the gifts of our culture as well, I think, as well, and some international flavor. So it's the gift that keeps giving. By all means, the diaspora right. is enjoying it throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And I, I must say thank you for all the support thus far. Of course. Do you have any closing nice. comments for Trinidad? And I want to have everybody listen. This is a long weekend that we're coming up to, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
please be careful on the roads. That is mm -hmm. very, 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 and mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to family members. Stay safe at home. Um, remember the COVID restrictions, nevertheless. And, um, you know, eat some good food and enjoy <laughs> each other's company. It's yes. probably, we are getting back to that state where we're starting to free up a little bit, but let's still be responsible. Yeah. That's nice. It. Fantastic. Chef Jason, thank you so much for being with us this morning on Holy Thursday and feeding us as well. We super appreciate you. Trinidad and Tobago, stay tuned. The Now Morning Show has some more coming up that you don't want to miss.